I know that I've mentioned a lot of shows and movies in my channel, expressing how much I love them and encouraging you to watch them. But my ultimate favorite show of all time is Avatar The Last Airbender. While Community is my favorite sitcom, I believe no show will ever compare to my love for Avatar The Legend of Aang. And with the release of Netflix adaptation of Avatar The Last Airbender, I'm really glad that Avatar is getting more love and attention. In making this video, I haven't really watched Netflix adaptation so I have nothing to say yet. But I'm scared because first, Michael and Brian, the original creators of the show, left so that's never good. And second, I've been seeing news about the changes Netflix has made like Sokka not being that sexist anymore, less side quests, and the lack of the Sozin Comet deadline. So I don't know how that's going to affect the story. And last, Netflix's reputation of cancelling shows. So yeah. But Netflix adaptation isn't really my focus today. I'm actually here to talk about how much I love the animated show. So even if the live action sucks, we still have the original. So let me get right into it. Hi, I'm Zidney, and here's why I love Avatar, The Last Airbender. Story for all ages. I first watched Avatar, The Last Airbender when it came out in 2005. I was just 8 years old back then. The story of four nations, water, earth, fire, and air living together in harmony until the Fire Nation attacked. And the Avatar, master of all four elements, the only one who could stop the war, suddenly disappears, compelled grade school me. I'm 26 now and the story of Avatar still remains as one of the most compelling stories I have ever watched. Avatar is different from any other kids show because people of any age can enjoy it. I find myself wanting to watch Avatar again and again. I've watched this show every once in a while and my love for this show has never faltered no matter how old I get. I loved this show when I was a kid and I still love it even as an adult. Rewatching it actually rekindles my love for the show. So whether you're a kid or an adult, you will definitely love this show. The Amazing World Building Another reason why I love Avatar is because of their amazing world building. The concept of bending or controlling the elements and there's this one person, the Avatar, who can master all four elements is very interesting to me. The four nations have distinct cultures, architectures, and clothing. The Water Tribe live in the North and South Pole with tribal chiefs as their head, while the Earth Kingdom is the most diverse group with proud and strong people living in mountains, forests, grasslands, and deserts. The Fire Nation is composed of disciplined individuals near volcanic areas, while air nomads are filled with free-spirited monks and nomads living in air temples. Additionally, the animals are cleverly two halves of an animal put together. The way Michael and Brian created the world of Avatar is just so creative. As many of you know, I'm also a fan of Pokemon, and I remember asking my sister and myself if we would rather live in the world of Pokemon and be a Pokemon trainer or live in the world of Avatar and bend elements, and we would always choose the latter. I would rather be an Earthbender than be a Pokemon trainer, and I really, really love Pokemon. That's how amazing Avatar's world building is, I just want to be in their world. Complex Characters even though the show's main characters are primarily children, Team Avatar is composed of complex individuals with different backgrounds and personalities. Each one undergoes their own character development. Aang, who ran away, finally learns to accept his responsibility as the Avatar. Katara deals with her mother's death and learns to forgive. Sokka matures into the leader that he is. Momo turns into Appa. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Zuko gets the best redemption arc of all time, from the prince who brought shame to his father, to an honorable friend and fire lord. It's such an amazing journey to witness Zuko's growth. The show is also able to showcase people with disabilities as people. One of the main characters is Toph, who is blind and she is easily one of the strongest benders in the world of Avatar. The characters of the show are just so relatable and believable people. Heavy themes War, genocide, imperialism, trauma, abuse, moral ambiguity, death. These topics are not usually discussed in a kid's show and yet they are central themes in Avatar The Last Airbender. The show is able to convey these topics without glossing over nor romanticizing them. Even as a kid, I 
understood the weight and the effects of the ongoing war. And now as an adult, I just can't believe the show was able to present these topics to children like me in a way that I could understand. I love how the creators and the writers of the show treat their audience as intelligent people who are capable of understanding heavy concepts. Roller Coaster of Emotions Avatar The Last Airbender is one wild roller coaster of emotion. It has made me laugh. Sokka is such a funny character. It has made me cry. Appa's Lost Days has successfully pulled my heartstrings every time I watch it. It has made me scream at Zuko at the top of my lungs to do the right thing. It has made me feel conflicted when Aang was also struggling with ending the Fire Lord's life. And it has made me tear up when the show finally came to a close. You will just feel all sorts of emotions when watching this show. There are still so many reasons why I love Avatar The Last Airbender. I could even make a lot more videos discussing different aspects and reviewing every episode of the show. I just really, really, really love this show, guys. And I hope you do too. And if there's one series that I could watch forever, that would be Avatar The Last Airbender. So I really hope Netflix does this show justice. But again, even if Netflix does a lousy job, we still have the original. So if you hate the Netflix adaptation, go watch Avatar. And if you love the adaptation, still watch Avatar. It's always a good idea to watch this fantastic and life-changing show. Hi guys! In my very first video about films and series, I've already mentioned that Avatar is my favorite show. That video was years ago and it still holds true as Avatar remains as my absolute favorite. I don't think anything else could ever top it. It's just that good of a show. So please, I'm telling you, if you haven't watched the show, please, please do so. Forget all the other shows I've mentioned. If there's one show I would always recommend, it's this. Anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you again next time. Bye!